three, two, one. Hey, internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative and Synergy Lifestyle Academy. And I've got Michelle Blood on the line. Michelle, you there? Yes, I am, Brad. Hey. Good to see you. You've got an accent. Are you on the other side of the pond or something? Where are you? I'm Australian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see? Are you in Australia now? No, I'm not. Not at the moment. Okay. You never can tell with this internet thing. You know, you could be anywhere. That's right. <laughs> be up on Mars or something. <laughs> so where are you? You're, you're in... Uh... San Diego County. I know where that is. I, I got a friend that lives in Borrego Springs. Yes, that's a beautiful place. Yeah, out in the desert. It gets hot out there. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> so how long have you lived out there in San Diego? 20 years. Oh, my God. You'd think you'd lose your accent by now. I think you have to be pretty young when you come to America to pick up the accent. I can't even do a, a lousy American accent. So. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies. Sorry about that. That's Ooh, you got an important call. calling back. He mustn't realize that we're on. Sorry about that. I'll just turn that off right now. <laughs> That's okay. It's all good. That's why I like to do these things raw. There's no green screen behind me or anything like that. If the cat jumps on the table, then that's okay. And it'd be strange. Oh, good. I've got a couple of those. That, that could happen to me, too. <laughs> See, we don't have any cats. We don't have a cat here. We got a dog, no cat. So if a cat jumped on the table, I'd go, what? <laughs> so I did a little bit of looking at uh, what you do. And uh, I saw the, the, the word affirmation. You, you do some, some work with affirmations? Yeah, I do affirmation music. It actually healed my body from a car accident. I've been a rock singer in Australia. Um, actually, I started professionally singing when I was about five on TV and had you know quite a few different rock bands. And um, I had a, a really terrible car accident on my way home from a gig and the driver had fallen asleep. And to heal my body, I was trying affirmations and I found that they didn't work because I couldn't emotionalize them because my body was in so much horrific pain. Right. So I started singing them. I started writing these little affirmation jingles to heal my body and then went on to um, have success in over 26 countries, singing in different languages, doing all these affirmation songs, working with Bob Proctor and Deepak Chopra and Wayne Dyer and Louise Hay and all these different, Jack Canfield, Mark Victor Hansen, all these people using my music. So it really is a great way to have an entire brain fusion. So the left side of the brain are the affirmations, the lyrics, the right side, the melody or the music, oh, cool. and then you have synergy. <laughs> and then it goes straight into your subconscious mind. So it works 300 times faster than saying affirmations, trying to write them down. It's just a very, very quick method because you can't get a jingle out of your head, even if you, you want to. You know, the reason I brought that up is there's a friend of mine. Do you know the name Arnie Ranson? No, Arnie? I don't. He created a thing called question cards. Uh -huh. And what they are is they're kind of like affirmations, but what they do is they have questions before them. So instead of saying, I am a millionaire, it says, why am I a millionaire? So that uh -huh. gets your brain to start thinking instead of going, oh, I'm not a millionaire. And you have that doubt. It gets you thinking like, like, how am I a millionaire? Right. And it gets you thinking different. So maybe, what if you blended that in with your music? Now you got all that stuff happening. Uh, yeah, that's a great and idea. Yeah. Anytime you ask yourself a question, it's a really, really powerful thing to do because the answer is always there. Yeah. And most people don't ask themselves questions like that. So that's a very empowering product to have because people know what they don't want but they don't realize if they know what they don't want, they can also find out what they do actually want. Yeah, but well, you've got that gonna, monkey just, mind that goes on it that starts telling you yeah. you can't, you can't, you can't. Your doubting mind. Yeah. I've got to tell you, I love Minneapolis. I have been there many, many times. When Prince was alive, I actually went to his recording studios outside of Minneapolis. And sure. um, Paisley Park. yeah, it's uh, wonderful, wonderful people. Yep, I'm in the event business. I produce events and people sometimes say, well, how long would it take to put that together? And I say, well, Prince did it the next day and he was dead because he put a big party on here after he died. Remember that? I don't know about that, no. Yeah, when he passed, the next day, there was a huge party at First Avenue. It's a big block wow. party. Wow, did you put that on? I didn't put it on, but uh, my, my point was that he was dead and now they were able to do it just like that. 
right. so it's fascinating how fast when you get a lot of people together working together in synergy oh, it's amazing gosh, what yeah. can happen yeah. No, I know. I mean, I was on the road for years and years with my rock band and we had to bring all our musical equipment. We put on an event, different event every night in a different town. So <laughs> I know how quickly it can be done. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, doing singing since I was five. Oh, but wow. on, on this path of, um, of deep mysticism, meditation, positive thinking, affirmations, since my car accident, really, in 1989, when I found that I wanted to heal my body and had that Satori to do my music with affirmations. That's how it all began. And now they say that the, the body sort of rebuilds itself. Is it every 21 days or something like that? It uh, restructures itself? I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I heard something like that because your, your cells are constantly dying and then being... I think it's a little working. longer than that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. But... Because I know that you, every seven years, you have an entirely new body. Maybe all that's what I'm getting at. Maybe it's seven years. Yeah, all the cells and everything are different every seven years. Yeah, so if yeah. you change your thinking, change your life kind of thing, you just shift the way that you're thinking, it's very, very possible. You can have great <laughs> transformation. Absolutely. I'm a perfect example. The, the magical things that I have experienced and the people that I've being gifted to work with and the money that I've been able to make is just miraculous compared to how much money you make as a rock singer in Australia. Not that much. <laughs> sure. Gigging for a case of beer, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> That's no. maybe the comedians they they'll work for those kind of rates. Yeah, no, we make much more than a case of beer, but still, because we had like thousands of people would come to our events every day, but you've got to pay for your road crew, your equipment, the trucks. I mean, it's just a, a lot, the agencies. And most of the time, the road crew make much more money than the actual band do until you've got a hit in a different country because Australia just doesn't have a big enough population to make a lot of right. money. You have to, you know, keep going until you make it in Europe or England or America or something like that. The entertainment business is definitely a labor of love kind of thing. That's yeah. The way that it works, unless you can strike it big. Yeah. So the stuff that you do weaving the music into the affirmations kind of thing, how did you come up with that? Did you, did you just... Um, From my car accident. It, it was it, sort of like... I was in hospital for months and months and months and I was absolutely desperate. And they said, you probably never walk again. And I had, I mean, the longest operation was 17 and a half hours. And so fans and family were starting to bring in positive cassettes. That's how long ago it was, 1989. Wow. And I was listening to Napoleon Hill speaking from the book, Think and Grow Rich, about auto-suggestion affirmations wow. and how he'd healed his son's hearing through, through going into his little infant son's room who had no ears was born with no hearing at all and literally no ears. And he said, you are able to hear perfectly. You are a strong and vibrant, healthy young boy. You grew up to be a great man. And by the time he was three and a half, he had 30% of his hearing, which was impossible. So that's when I thought to myself, lying in that hospital bed, unable to move, I'm going to do affirmations to heal my body. Sure. And I did one. I am healed. I know I am. I love myself. I am my friend. And I kept saying it over and over, but it wasn't working because my doubting mind kept rejecting it because yeah. obviously none of that was true. So I had the epiphany to sing it. And then when I sang it, I just recorded it over and over again. And when I got out of the hospital, journalists found out about my miraculous healing and then the affirmation songs. I had these promoters that work with Bob Proctor and Dave, Wayne Dyer and all these big speakers I'd never even heard of because I wasn't resonating with that type of world. I was in the rock and right. roll world. And so I started doing all these gigs with them and singing my affirmations in between. And I was like, wow, this is like a whole different world. And so before I knew it, I was traveling all over the world with all of these people making more money than I'd even dreamt of having hit records as well as my affirmation music in different languages and um, living in Asia and all, all within two years of my car accident through this, because I kept writing more and more affirmations for persistence, for money, 
for prosperity, for happiness, for forgiveness, for peace, hundreds of songs. So I started selling them and they started selling like hotcakes. It was insane. So is that working? I mean, I'm trying to figure out how it all happens, but is it a lot of it probably because of the vibration of the music? Well, no, like what the, happens the Masuro is the first, Moto stuff, you know, the, the... Well, the left side of the brain is the lyrics. The right side of the brain is the music and melody. So you have a left and right brain experience. So it goes straight into the subconscious mind. Okay. So it goes straight into the subconscious mind because that's where you want the affirmation to be planted so that it'll start manifesting itself because we are what we think. All that we are arises with our thoughts. With our thoughts, we make our world. The Buddha said that two and a half thousand years ago. But um, I just want to keep saying Magic Brad because it's such a cool name. Magic Brad, you know what it I mean? It works, it anyway, works. Anyway, so with music, you just can't get the, the new thought, that positive thought out of your head. And that's the secret to right. affirmations for them to go into your subconscious mind. So when that happens, when you start having more and more positivity, well, what happens is your vibration, your frequency becomes a faster vibration. It's, a, it's actually a speed. And so as that happens, you become more and more aware, more and more mindful, and you start resonating with wonderful opportunities that you couldn't see before. They may have been there. It's like people that say to me, I just feel like I'm a positive person. I'm a happy person. I work hard but I feel like I'm just a fine hair's breath away from the success that I would like to create. And that's because they have to resonate with that success. And that is a vibration. So that's how it works. Hey, Presto. Wow. <laughs> so the, the things you're doing now, are you, are you primarily performing this kind of thing or are you coaching people or are you have products that you sell that like, uh, it wouldn't be, it would be digital products. Now it wouldn't be eight track tapes or cassettes. Those are gone. Yeah, no, I've got, I've got hundreds of products and hundreds of songs. My main thing that I do is called the mysticalexperience.com. It's a membership where there are people from all over the world that I coach. Yes, I teach them. Um, they learn about meditation. We talk about business and masterminding. We've got different people from all over the world. We start with, we just use every thing that will assist them because everybody's different not everybody wants to do affirmations not everybody wants to meditate some people prefer visualization so i teach a whole lot of different modalities oh, to assist oh. each different person and we have zoom meetings where every everyone from all over the world get to see each other and sort of network and talk about positivity and it's just absolutely wonderful for example one of the members when the lockdown happened with the virus, she's a piano teacher and she's like, oh no, I'm not going to be able to make any money because I'm, the school's closed down. Yeah. So then we all mastermind with her for her to start an online piano teaching. So she, now she's got students from all over the world. So we all help each other in yeah. so many different ways, have what I call mystical success. Yeah, I've got a magician friend that the first thing he did was he came out with a thing called it, he called it turf and tar, where he'd go on your lawn or on your driveway and do magic shows. You could watch from your window or for the Oh, rest. that's so cool. I love that. <laughs> so it's being innovative, <laughs> you know, don't let it stop you. Yeah, that's, that really is wonderful. I'd like well, to see that. This is really cool. Own. It's uh, <laughs> the, the ability to do what you're doing. I think it's really, really, it, it's interesting because when I was looking on your website, it, I didn't grasp how this all came about and now it really makes a lot of sense. Like I've right. got a friend, Paul Sheely, and he's got these paraliminal tapes. And what it is, it's, I think it's five different channels from the left to the right and all different voices and things, but you've got the music element to it, which is global. Music is everywhere. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. So I don't like to do these too long because people have that commodity of time. So I like yes. to keep them kind of short so they can consume it all. Could you share how do we get a hold of you if someone wants to work with you or, or maybe bring you into their city and you could do a concert? Or you could... Yeah, I, I do events, live events all over the world, but now we're doing the virtual events. Sure. So uh, if anyone's interested in a virtual event, they can just go to, you know, they can contact us easily just through the mysticalexperience.com. But I do have some a special offer for your 
fans, magic bread, okay. your synergy. <laughs> they can just go to this link, Michelle Blood, M I C H E L E B L O O D, just one L in Michelle, dot com forward slash synergy cafe. Synergy like cafe. That. And they can have uh, just loads of things that will help them 360 degree transform very, very quickly. Well, I will put that link in the blogs and things that I propagate out to the universe and we'll see what happens. Let the okay. internet do its thing. <laughs> well, Michelle, I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, have a wonderful time there in San Diego. I'll stay up here in Minneapolis. Maybe Thank when I come so down, and I'll look you up. Yeah, we probably, I'll probably, if, if when, you know, the everything opens up again, I'll be in Minneapolis putting on an event again very, very soon. Keep me posted. I will. <laughs> Peace. Thank you.